My name is Bodvar and I'm, uh, I've been studying uh, the Great Pyramid and uh, a lot of other things uh, well, in the course of the last 30 years or so. And uh, have uh, somebody of you seen the television program about the pyramid some four days ago? No, it's um, it's an um, it's a fantastic discovery made by a uh, Frenchman, Houdin, who uh, who found that uh, that the Great Pyramid has been built using a uh, spiral corridor inside the pyramid. So they could they could build it in levels, placing the edge stones first and then fill in afterwards. And I think it's the only theory which has anything uh, with reality to do. It's a, it's a great discovery. And uh, but my point is that I'm not interested in that at all. I'm not interested in the physical. I'm interested in the spiritual. I mean, interested in what is unseen, to make the unseen seen. That is my point. Because I think that the only the unseen, not everything unseen, but the unseen which can can describe and explain what we see is the real thing. The real thing about the human being is not body or clothes or, or behavior or so, but it is something we don't, don't see. And we don't see it because we are not ready to see it. And some see something, or and so, um, and, 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 uh, and uh, these acupuncture points or, or meridians and so on, because they are, they have, are clairvoyant and in some way, but this is not the unseen. This is still physical, a level of the physical. And what is not physical is the geometry, the number, the order of building up, of, of organizing things, which is not connected to shoulders or knees or faces or noses. It's but it, it tells, what we see tells about it. When we have these two eyes, or two breasts, or, or two legs and arms and so on, then, then this number two tells something. And it's interesting to see that they are horizontal. Ovaries and, and knees and shoulders and everything is horizontal. And two is a horizontal number. But one is a vertical number. And, um, and that's the beginning of it. Because one to two is, uh, is the temple code. The, 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 the Hebrew temples had a holy of holies, which measured one by one. It was a square. And they had a holy, of, uh, a holy place, which was two. Uh, two two times one, two times as big. And this one and two is a code following the meaning of, of uh, holiness. We can use the word holiness, I think, because, because one cannot st stand alone. One cannot be alone in this world, in, in the duality system. Uh, and we cannot understand, we can understand nothing seeing only one thing. We have to see diversity and understand by diversity. And therefore we also have a language of words and a language without words. And the language without words is what, is, what makes us discover the unseen. Uh, the Great Pyramid is is interesting for many reasons and one of the reasons is that it is two pyramids 
it's two pyramids, it's one invisible and one visible. And the visible is standing on the ground here and going up to a certain point and it's finished there. And still this Frenchman, Houdin, means that the capstone has been there, but I don't think so. And I think that he has even proved, proven that it hasn't been there. Because if you shall build this pyramid from inside, you come to a certain point where there is no inside anymore. You have to make the top from outside, and that is one of his problems. But if you read something from the Bible, which says that the, the, um, the Tower of Babel was tried to be built into heaven, but it wasn't allowed, because the heaven of a pyramid is the point here. This is the heaven of a pyramid. The heaven of a dog, I don't know, but I think that the Carl Jung, the psychiatrist, he, he had a little sculpture in his garden, which he said, this is the dog god. And, and he had uh, his dog buried there. But uh, the heaven of a pyramid is something relating to a pyramid, but uh, which is related in such a way that only geometry and number can explain it. And geometry says that the one, the point one, where, where one also becomes a zero, is the, is the God point, is the heaven point. And the four points down there are the earth points. And we understand this uh, automatically without thinking of it. We have four earth fingers and one heaven finger, and that is the thumb. The most clumsy finger we have, that's the heaven thing, thing. <laughs> And we have a sort of other things, two and two and, and one and so on. Mm. And we carry this symbol with us just to understand that one cannot be alone, four cannot be alone. They need to merge in a way. They need to explain each other. And what explains the stone pyramid is the, the immaterial pyramid, which is like this. It has the apex, the, the top, but it doesn't reach the ground. The ground is here, and five meters up, five meters from the ground, we have an, a, a very special level, and that's the level where the passages meet. One passage down there, and one passage up there, and there's the king's chamber and so on. And, and that level, I call it the uh, plane of transition. Transition is the the, um, the, the change, radical change, from one situation to another, one state to another. That is transition. 